Hello, and welcome back to some Nautica. The ship just blew up. I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll run for cover now. Maybe I won't. Hmm. I don't know. I'll just stand here instead. <laughs> Just playing. Welcome back to Subnautica, guys. Ah, uh, there's been a few updates I'd like to show you. We had a whole new biome that's under development. And put in my graphics here. Some new changes with the builder. When I turn it on, you'll hear a new sound. Oop, wrong thing. <laughs> hear that? Makes a new sound. As I showed you in the last menu, the last video, you, we now have interesting new menus, each one for a different area, and we can build signs, but the signs have changed. If you remember, I did build some signs, but listen to it now. It makes a new sound. And now when you click on it, you have different options. You can increase the size up to that, or shrink it down oops really tiny really tiny or real big and if you click this one it gets rid of the bordering in the background the circle changes the color so you have all type of things so it's pretty cool label Captain, to the brig! <laughs> That's as much as you can do. Uh, we need It needs to be updated so you can actually put two or three lines worth of dialogue on there if you want to. And create a whole sentence instead of just that many <laughs> letters. Uh, other than that, there's not much else with tool-wise. I mean, we still have this. And the coloring. I like the coloring on the ends of it. Get out of my sub! Okay. I built a new base. This is the new save. It's a couple. It's like two or three days old, but it's a, it's a fairly new save. And this time, I built a base with a foundation just to keep my module legs from vanishing until they fix the bug where they disappear if you build a module on the ground. That's so annoying. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yes, welcome aboard. I want to go home. What is this place? Who are you? Where am I? <laughs> Signs are fun. Now They've done. They've gone and done something really stupid with the sea moths. Uh, as you notice, there's a sea moth way over there, and a reaper took it. What was it? About 900 meters under the ground. I had to dig way down with my terraformer to find it, just to see how deep it was. He, he did that bug where he grabs your sea moth and you know phases it into the ground and just leaves it there. And I wasn't in at the time. That's actually right below the exit hole on the Aurora. I parked it there, went into the Aurora, fixed the leaks, came out, and my sub, my sea moth was gone. <laughs> I looked, looked around, looked down, and oh, it's in the ground. <laughs> looked around, looked, looked down, it's in the ground. Hey, that rhymes. That's pretty good. Uh, oh. They did fix these guys. Grab one. Normally, in the past, if you let one of these suckers go, let's see what happens. Yep, now they just go to the surface. Although they do bounce up and down just a little bit under the surface. That's not too bad, but they don't go flying way up into space and then come back down all the way under the water and then go way up again. So they finally gave them some... Uh, they fixed the surface of the water so they can't go above it anymore like they used to good thing. But as I was saying about sea moss, and I'll show you, 
I need a new one anyway. Just to get over to the new biome without using my sea glide. How many batteries do I have? None! Well, I better get some because I'm going to need them. But, if you remember, the crush depth on the sub. I think you can go, you know, when you go down to 30, 40 meters, it would, you know, instantly crush the sub. Basically, they've done the same thing with the sea moth, but really dumb. They've made it around 300 meters. So now, uh, you cannot explore very deep. This needs to be fixed. Uh, 300 meters? Oh, I really... Just a little bit past 200 meters is too shallow for a sea moth to be destroyed. I love their sound. I love that sound. But uh, if at 300 meters or a little below 200, there's going to be sea moths all over the place. People are going to be killing just. just the whole ocean is going to be littered with them because you can't go anywhere. <laughs> you can't even go down to the lava zone with it. Which is ridiculous. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, just so you know, from spawn, and this is the experimental mode, not in standard. Uh, from spawn, go directly west. All the way to the edge of the map, and you'll come to the new biome. Oops, we got a... Oh, I thought it was the chunk loading. You'll have to go through the mushroom forest over here to get to it. What it's going what it is is the new sparse reef locale. It's completely under development although the standing structures in it are not going to change, but there's going to be a lot of new flora covering the place. Uh, you can actually see three test images over on the Subnautica wiki for what it will look like, not what it does look like now. Uh, I put up a bunch of images I took over here, over on Synonica Wiki, but they took them down because they said they're in development shots. Doesn't matter. Show them anyway. Uh, it's good to show a location that's being constructed you know, before and after. Is this... Is this a new location? I don't recognize this. Maybe not. It's new to me. I haven't seen it before. Uh, whoa, what am I in? Wait a minute. Oh, I'm above the forest. Okay, I'm getting close. So that is... This is new. Wait a minute. Hold on. Must check. Oh, hello. What do we have here? Testing sea moth fragment way over here. That's a little crazy. Uh oh. What the is going on? I didn't. I'm good thing I came this way. Of course, this is probably going to change because I'm right on the edge of the new biome. But anyway, I'll take a picture of it just so they don't know about it. Okay. Looks like they were working on the ground here and forgot to put it back. Huh. As you can see. Hmm. I think I'm right on the verge of it here. Let's see. No, this is the block grass zone, so. I'm not sure what was going on in that spot. I am going west still. Oop, I'm off course. I'm off course, of course. He's a horse, of course. He's Mr. Ed. You know they used to shock his mouth and make him talk? Caution. Passing safe depth. You notice that, okay. 128 meters. This is passing to safe death for our sea moths? Get serious. Okay, I'm in the new biome now. One of the bad things about this locale is it spawns reapers like crazy. 
I probably had six of them in here earlier. Okay. I'll show you what happens in a minute. Warning. Maximum depth reached. All damage imminent. Yeah. Maximum depth at 225. Seriously? That's way too short. Way too shallow. So, let's see where, where, what happened. What's the total crutch destruction depth here? So I know before when I brought one over here, it died at 300. There's a uh, new spot over here. I'll show you that they're digging it out. Let's see, where was it? Is it over here? Uh, nope, that's the it. Oh, what was it? 244, your sea moth dies. Okay, that is seriously, seriously needs to be fixed. I mean, that's just way too shallow. So when you get over here and you're using your sea moth, the only thing in you you can do is to pop out your sea glide and move around. But you and I'm gonna put it on speed two. Oops, wait a minute. Yeah, speed two just to you know make things everything go a little bit faster. I'm gonna keep an eye on Reapers. I don't want them attacking. I got killed twice over here before. Here's the sandstone fort, and here is the pillars. Where is he? Don't want to come down on me. Here's the the pillar group. I've put images of all the locations. Well, most of them in uh, my Steam screenshots folder, so you can go over and look at them and. Take them if you like. Put post them as your desktop images. Where is he? Okay, I saw him. It's hard to tell. Oh, there he is. Whoa, I better get away. I don't want to put on no damage because then I'll get into a not uh, one of those continuous chomp cycles if they grab you. That's bad. Nope, oh, I'm on the edge of the map here. It's not where I want to be. Da, 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 da. Gotta skirt the edge of the map over here. See, so he it comes, I mean, literally right to the edge. Here's the Infinity Abyss. This is going to be the Sea Treader location. You'll find them in the future here because it's perfect for them. Here's the Tunnel Castle. So make sure where he's at so I don't want to get grabbed. Got a nice little arch in the front. What I mean by tunnel castle is because it's got a cool little tunnel through it. Don't mind the double flickering. That's my sea moth. And when you go to F6, knocking it off, as I showed before, it causes the thing to go nuts or something like that. It causes two headlights. <laughs> oh, God. If he sees me, he'll come after me. He'll never leave me alone. I think they could smell you. Yeah, I could be in a cave and they'll just suddenly find you. They're a pain. I mean, if he does kill me, I can easily warp back over here because I have the coordinates for all these locations. Where is he? That's that city. You keep seeing city over there. It's uh, the under underground. The underground. The ancient city posted a beacon over there the other day, so I can get back to it. This, as you can see, this is mostly sand hills, but this whole place is going to be more fleshed out with fauna in the very near future. As it's being worked on now. Here's the tall arch. Oh, God. Get away from him. I have a picture in my screen, my uh, screenshots of that right there, hmm, that image. There's a giant arch, the long arch as I call it over here. I have to find it. Oh 
God, another one? Man, they're everywhere. So you can see they just spawn like crazy in this spot. Oops. I'll have to warp to it. Because I don't want him following me. Okay, here's the five level hole. It's almost like an ancient dwelling in a way. I'm trying to keep my eye on him. It goes... There are little uh, caves around it. Let's see if I can find one. Actually, it's down one. There, let's see. It goes back like it's... Yeah, we have a bug of sunlight coming through nothing. <laughs> There's sunlight in a cave. Ooh, look at that. Never noticed this little hole. What was that? down to one energy. <laughs> okay. Still working at one. That was odd. Oh, look at that! Oh, cool! It's like a little... It's definitely... This really looks like an ancient dwelling because they got a little uh, stairway down. I mean, it's actual stairs. Down to a little Fred Flintstone habitat with a crawl space out, which is very strange. This might be where the warpers will be. Who knows? You never know. What the developers are thinking. Come down further. Here's another little cave. Where does this go? Nowhere. And for some reason I'm hearing lava zone sounds. You roar too much. Ooh, that's actually a pretty cool shot. Oh, yeah, I gotta get a picture of that. The Eye of God. <laughs> Whoa, God. He followed me down. Woo, that was close. Where is he? How did he know I was here? I'm hearing Lava Zone music. Anyway, that, this is the very... I keep seeing a shadow, but a shadow, but I don't see him. No. Wait. My saw him flickering around up there. Let's see if I see a shadow down here. Hmm. I might have to make a run for it, but this is going to be difficult. I could easily just jump to the next location. That'd be a lot quicker. Oh, there he is. There's a shadow. Look at that. But he's not up there. What the... How am I seeing his shadow without him being there? Huh. But uh, just to show you the depth in this location, it's 469 if you go all the way down. So that's pretty deep. Under the rock here, and yet sunlight is penetrating it. This has been reported. There's a lot of instances of the sunlight coming into caves. It is just not logical. I'm not the only one that noticed that. Um, I'm gonna make a run for it. If he kills me, I can easily warp back over here. Where is he? What the hell? Trapped here. Let's see if he stays up high. Stay up high, man. Okay, I'm going this way. I'm out of his range. Good, good, good. But there's supposed to be, you know, green corals all over the place and a valley from what I look I saw in one of the images on Wiki of tall sandstone pillars, similar to that little group you saw back there, but deeper, taller. Here, is this? Oh, shoot, another one. There's actually a cave in that rock right there where he's at. 
Can't get to it when he's in the way. Oh, here's the edge of the map again. Uh, yeah, there he is. Oh, go away. You stay over there, you bugger. Oh, jeez, really? I'm caught between a rock and a hard place here. <laughs> oh, no, here he comes. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, time to go to the Infinity Trench. <laughs> Jeez, that was close. Wow. I can't believe I survived. He does, they don't seem to want to come down in the trench. Hmm. Good thing. Can use as a shortcut around him. Is that another one right there? Yes, it is. It might be the same one. Man, there's just too many. It makes me wonder if the developer that's working on this, on this location purposely put them in play just to keep people away from it. Ah, God, here he comes. Woo, that was close. It was like honeycomb, doesn't it? You expect a beehive. But you can see, all this is all new. Big huge chunk of ground taken out right here. Wow. Get back up here so I can show you the rest of it if I can get around without him being in the way. <gasps> Peekaboo! I don't see you. Oh, I do too. <laughs> Aha! I'm at the very end of the biome. This, the reason why I'm hearing the lava zone sounds, because this is the new entrance one of the the west side entrance to the lava zone and it goes down to I think 946 meters uh, I think that was the deepest I went down and then it goes straight to the lava zone right into the black castle location and it's actually big enough to take the submarine see so you come down here get to a certain point and it actually brightens up a little bit. You look back up and you see where you're coming from. It's got this weird uh, effect as you go down. Like you boom, boom. I would use the sea glide, but I mean not uh, the power glide, but as you saw in my previous videos, it's just so freaking noisy. It hurts the ears. Get in. Noisy, noisy. Yes, you are. Uh, oh, which way am I going? It's west. Okay. Just to make sure. See if you should be right up here at the top. Yeah, here's the mushroom forest. So, I mean, indeed. Eat the biome is right on the edge of it. And see these gr this green ground here? This is what's going to... There's going to be a lot of coral, that color, scattered all over this location once, he's, once they're done with it. Let me, uh... Instead of trying to fight these guys here... Oops. Fight my way through these guys. Why it keeps doing that? Keep hitting. When you hit R, it reloads your battery, even though it's already full of juice. It's a little pointless. I'll take you straight to the big arch. 12.0.2.250.2.246.1. There it is. There's the big arch. It's not too far away from the pillar group. Gotta keep an eye on them. They sneak up on you, man. You never know. Oh, I just saw him. Oh, God. Let's run. Backwards. Hmm. Yeah, here's the pillar group, so... 
the tall arches right over the ridge right there. Oh, shoot. No! <laughs> that was close. Very close. That's the good thing about the pillars is you can hide in them. <laughs> oh, where is he? Oh, bugger hid. Uh, I'm like a, a rat peeking out. It's like, <gasps> where is he? Where is he? Ah, guys, back down. Where is he? Scurry, 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 scurry. Must run. Run, run, must run now. Better run, squirrel. I was trying to get over here. When I first came into the location, I wanted to show you this big chunk of ground they ripped out. But they're building something over here. Let's see, where is it? Where are you? Or did he fill it in right here? To tell. Wow. This is an interesting little terraced mountain. As you can see, I'm not too far away from the monolith. Huh. We just had an update. Not too long ago. Like an hour ago. It makes me wonder if he's already filled the hole in this quick with this mountain and this ground right here, because I'm not finding it. It was a big hole. Rectangular hole. Oh, there's my old sea model. The one I just came in on. Dead as a door now. More junk floating in the ocean. Well, I... Okay, there's the fort. Yeah. That quick in this in that last update. There it is. It was right here. That ground. Man, I can't believe he filled in the ground that fast. Whoever's working on this location. It was this big. And it stretched as you can see it stretched all the way over to here. Huh. Wow. Okay, that that it's amazing how fast he filled the hole in. He must have held one hell of an excavator. <laughs> Maybe he's got the reapers doing it for him. They're eating chunks of dirt and just dumping it in there. Not that dumping. Don't go there. <laughs> Through their mouths. And here's the bloodgrass road region. These guys. Uh, fish school. Baby boomerangs. That's cool. Actually, everything looks a lot better at speed two. Don't you think? It just moves better. I don't know. I like it better at speed two. Everything's flowing smoothly. Actually, I think this is where that one piece of ground is still... Oh, they fixed something with the reef bags. Their movements or something. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe it's their collision AI or something. Oh, look. I never noticed. Maybe they added that. He's breathing. Seems to be more movement on his body now, man. That could be something new. Like those pseudo claws or something are there are moving a little bit too. Actually it doesn't it doesn't it look like claws? It look like they can reach down and grab you. That's cool. Let's see what on top. Thing is, reapers will kill them. I think I didn't show that in one of my old videos, but reapers don't ever show up in their lo in their zone, and so you never see something like that happen. Oh, here's my pillar, where I originally created my floating island, going straight up there. 
It's not here anymore, because this is a... That's an old, old game. It's only recorded in video form now. Through the arch. Look at it! Oh, wait. Oh, okay. So, say one, two... Oh, stop. He ran out of juice that quick. Is this new? Hey. I don't recognize this. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's cool. Looks like the maw of some creature. Actually, I think I'll take a picture of that. That's pretty cool. I recognize this opening, but... So it looks better. Yeah, I like that better without the, all that sunlight coming in. What in the heck's going on with that fish? Look, look at that Oculus. Are you dead? You're just spinning in place. Bump. Bump. <laughs> I guess he's dead. Now, there was some mention of player... Uh, 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 Maybe music or sound or something associated with entering one of these caves. But it's not making any sounds now. This is new. Man, I wish they'd get the crab snake in. But I want to see them in action. Um, oh, we got a spawning. <laughs> This look whoa, a lot of pop in. This looks like the location I went in that I've been in before where there was a, a big school of bone shards, but they're not here anymore. They used to be right here all the time. Twenty four seven being jerks. This is new. We've added these recently. Nice to see more flora down here than just the jelly shrooms. A little too much pop in. Let it load. Wow, now that was some serious pop in. <laughs> load. I see a sunflower down there. A glowing one. Oh god. There is the pack. <laughs> you bunch of jerks. So they moved the pack to that entrance, so right there. Okay. So that must be the one I've been coming down. Never been through the maw. Hey, maw. Hey, maw. There's a big maw here. Oh, golly. Hey, Sarge. We're dying in a cave. And too much popping. Must wait for Poppin. We have a floating rock. Oh, is that an opening? No. Well, it is, and it isn't at the same time. All right, come on, flush out the flesh the zone out. Going down. You, sir, are going down. Into the cave of depth. Oh, there's the Oculus hole. This will bring me out where I need to be. Back in the coral shallows. Or close to it, actually. Yeah, there's a little bit of lag down there. I just noticed as soon as I came out of that hole, everything went a lot more smoothly. All that popping down there is really slowing things down. Even at speed two, it was still. And that's probably the reason why I was popping in so slowly. Maybe because I was on speed two. Nonetheless, oh, there's the aurora. Wait. Ah, there I am. 
There you are. I was wondering where my submarine was. My yellow submarine. We up? Oh, no, I'm not gonna sing it. <laughs> oh, hop in. Dang, that was a big chunk. This is Darwin. I wonder if that's still bugged. Let's see. Yep. Look at that. Still screwed up for some reason. Why are? Why is that going on? That's a brand new one. Let's see. Let's see if it fixes it. Oh, no, I didn't want to get on it. See, when it's bugged like that, you can't get on. You need to grab it. Alright. There. Come on. Come on. Gimme. Gimme. Alright. There. Now let it go. So it fixes the bug. If you pick it up and let it go, then the bug's fixed. But I bet when I come back into the safe, it'll be screwed up again. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Now it's starting to look a little weird. Back to normal. Speed one. If you're curious and you want to see what happens when I do it, I'll show you what speed 10 looks like. Speed 10! Lots of lag. <laughs> oh, man. And it's hard to type. Back to one. That's why I don't speed. That's why it's not good to go that high. Unless you want got some absolutely seriously strong computing power, and even then it's a little screwed up. But let's go check something and see if they fixed it. Move. Get. Oh, they took him out. Okay. As you remember, in one of my previous videos, we had a cave uh, crash fish pod right here that was spewing out like 10 to 15 uh, powders from it, uh, um, crash meals from it. And they moved them. Oh, I think they moved them over there. Oh, 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 oh! Hello, we got three. <laughs> okay. I might have to. I'll have to return to the save and get a picture for I blow him up, so... Well, actually, it doesn't matter. Screw it. Get it right here. Um, if I can get it... I need to get the depression from where he's at there. And hopefully without my flippers in the shot. There. That's the only problem with the F6 right now, is if you're wearing either the new flippers and you go to F6, they appear in your view and they never go away. It gets a little annoying. What the heck? It's in the roof here. Whoa, what? Look at that. It's able to look through the ground. What I do like about the new Repulsion cannons. You can shoot the ground. You can shoot anything. You can actually tunnel with it. Recharge battery. It takes a while, but you can tunnel with it. As long as you got the swim charge fins on. There's a little rock grub clipping through the rock. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Goodbye. Oh, there's one right there. Let's go to... Boom! He's gone! Crash fish went bye-bye. Let's find another one. Nope, not that way. Should be one up here. Oh, you bugger, you disappeared on me. Yes, you did. Where are you now? Hmm. Oh, there's one right there. 
Too fun, too fun. Hey, you're in the way. I want more crash fish. I want to crash them into oblivion. Hello, Boomerang. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's see here. Other than just having fun, there's not much more to show. I mean, okay, much better. I feel better with that half. That uh, Reaper took a chunk out of me. I've been bleeding all along. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Cause have I come back around 360? Actually, I think there's one in here. Ooh, don't want to run into that until it's dispersed. Because it'll hurt. Actually, I think this does lead to maybe some. Let's get rid of that. Such a pretty game. This is fun to explore. Some places I've been before. Hey, that rhymed again. <laughs> uh, am I seeing a floating... Yes, I am. Oh! What? Am I back? Oh my god, can you believe that? I went full circle! I came back to the same hole! <laughs> the reason why that's floating is because I hit the, ro hit the rock right here and knocked the ground away from it. Wow, I can't believe I did a full circle. Totally unknown. Oh, we have bouncing metal. Sounds like a rock group. We are the bouncing metal! We are the Wild Stallions! Come on, what reference is that from? Uh, which way do I go, George? Which way do I go? Da, which way do I go? I'm going down here. Hey! Ooh, I see a crystal. I'm going to hug it and squeeze it and squeeze it and hug it. Mm. Ow! Too close! Too close, man! Those acid mushrooms hurt. Hello! Goodbye. <laughs> I just love sending fish to their oblivion. Occasionally, not all the time. That's pretty cool. Look at all those mushrooms all over that. That's a uh, coral tube right there. Actually, I can dig through it to show you. Let me get rid of these first. There it goes. See? I'm in. Basically, this is a new version of a terraformer. <laughs> for anything. And we have titanium. There used to be... I wonder why they took them out. There used to be a patch of blood mushrooms right there. I wonder why they're gone. Uh, I think there's a rockfish in this cave. <gasps> Don't. Nope. I could have sworn there was. Oh, it sucks, man. I want to blow up a rock, a crash fish. I call them a rock fish for no reason. I see a baby. Hello, baby. Goodbye. Oh, I sent a chunk. Got flying. 
Oh. Oh, really? I don't think so. <laughs> it's like you pissed me off. Hmm. Well, I'm out of luck on the crash fish, darn it. Hit a hoverfish there. Head on collision with a hoverfish. News at 10. Head on collision with peepers. Now. <laughs> Falling rock. Oh, hello. Wait a minute. I recognize this canyon. Ha ha ha. Falling from that one. Okay, I hear no. Oh, there he is. Hmm. There must be another one below me. Yep. And then he dropped one. So this one dropped two, and he should only drop one. This one dropped one. Only a few of them are dropping more than they should. At least they're not dropping 10 to 15 at once. That's a good thing. So, where am I? Uh, I am lost. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I'm lost! <laughs> I can't fight my way home! Yeah, <laughs> yourself. Hello. Bang. Whoa, I went right through his head. He's an airhead, man. Get it? <laughs> he has no head. No brains in his head. Home, sweet home. Where am I? So, I'll end it here. I'll see you in the next fun video of Subnautica. <laughs>